session from Apple News. Come, we are of course still at the IDF 2010 in San Francisco, over here on the show floor. And actually, I think Nicole just wanted to grab a glass of wine, and then we stumbled upon <laughs> this booth over here, uh, which is just announcing Migo Terra as a TV remote control. And next to me stands Christoph Jefficek from Intel. And Christoph, you can tell us a little bit more about what you set up over here. So tell us a little bit about this V10 and the set-top box and what can it do? Okay, sure. So we have three devices here. We have a tablet, we have a set-top box, we have a netbook. All of those devices, they run with an Atom processor and with Migo. And now I can show you what is really nice about running Mio. It's because it's really easy to implement additional uh, things. For example, Migo as a Migo tablet as a remote control. One use case is you have a set top box. You are sitting on your couch. You wonder what is new on the internet. So you simply start the internet browser. Mm -hmm. Wait until it loads. <laughs> okay, and now now you can do simple things with the remote, you can scroll up and down, but it's not really useful for um, for entering text, for right. clicking on links, and then so on. So for this, we implemented uh, a simple application with QT on, on the VTAP. So we just started. Okay, you might notice we took a picture of, the, of this uh, remote. We actually enabled this picture so that it recognizes um, uh, touch events. So you can also use the same remote by simply touching instead of this one. We have a mouse area here where you simply can move the, the mouse cursor. That's very cool. Over this one, you can click. And of course, if you want to search, uh, if you want to type something, you simply pull up the virtual keyboard. You type stuff. And it's much easier than entering it with remote. Oh, yeah. So, and this is actually a little application that will be available on the App Up Center, right? Um, we didn't upload it to App Up yet. <laughs> you should but do that. Uh, Make uh, some money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. how, how much are you willing to pay for it? Um, that's a rather good question, you know. Um, 99 cents. I don't know. 99 <laughs> cents would definitely be good because you would still get like some 70 cents out of it. Yeah, I like 99 cents. It's just, it's just a matter about, of, of, about <laughs> the, you know, But in general, a really, really cool application that shows you a little bit about the seamless experience that you can generate uh, on the Migo platform, having different form factors, connecting them together, and creating a new user scenario, like for a tablet like the WeTab. This is Sasha for NetbookNews.com. This is Christoph Gettenicek from Intel. Thanks for watching.